Creating pretty images with AI tools is nice, but can it actually help me do my real job client work? Well, in this video, I'm gonna give this a try. I'm going to generate a random client brief and gonna try to solve this brief with actual design tools, AI tools, with mid-journey to create images and chat GPT to write text and help me come up with content for the website. I don't know, maybe I'm gonna fail. I've never tried this before. This is my first time trying this. And I wanna take you with me to the ride and show you how I experiment with these tools. Let's do this. To get started, I'm jumping into Goodbrief.io to randomly generate a website brief for a random industry. Let's see what we are working with. Company name Checkpoint. We're a company that makes high performance jet skis with emphasis on status. Our target audience is adult. We want to uh, convey a sense of bravery at the same time being businesslike. You must create a website that will mainly show a list of the company product. Okay, so maybe it's an e-commerce website for jet skis. Uh, that sounds pretty cool. Emphasis on status. So it might be premium. Let's give this a try, right? So let's jump over to Discord where we're working with Midjourney. So Midjourney is an AI tool for creating images that works within Discord. If you're not familiar with Discord, it's basically a chat interface. So I have to say it's not the optimal kind of user experience to work with, but that's what we have right now. And you can sign up on Midjourney um, for a free account that will give you a bunch of images to test this out before you have to uh, pay them. And here's how it works. Basically inside of this chat, you basically write imagine and then you write a prompt. So in this case, I'm going to write maybe modern landing page for a jet ski for a, let's say premium, premium jet ski, jet ski company. And then you're going to give it some more tags. So in this case, you want to say something like maybe website, uh, UX, UI, uh, maybe even UX, UI this way. Um, and let's see what how that works. So I'm going to hit return and see what comes up. So um, Midjourney is going to load and it's going to take a minute and then it's going to give us four options. So let's see what comes up. Okay. So a minute later, uh, mid journey came back with four options and we can actually see them here. Um, now they look pretty, pretty cool. And now what we can do right now is either go ahead and create higher resolution. So these are basically sketches of different ideas. So we can either pick one of them and upscale it to create a high resolution, or we can try to create variation of it. But what I want to do at this stage is to explore a lot of different concepts and a lot of different prompts, because maybe I'm not sure uh, if any of these are good. Some of these look cool, like this one looks like a cool layout. Maybe I'll add, I'll try to modify the prompt with other words, like maybe blue collar or maybe e-commerce, and let's see what's going to come up. So I'm going to copy this and try a different prompt. Okay, so I have tried a few different prompts here. I've tried adding e-commerce store. I've also then noticed that a lot of them don't have a person on them. So I've added the word man into it. And then I got a few more options over here. And then I tried replacing some words. Uh, instead of blue, I've changed it to vibrant. I want to see a little bit of a different colors. And then I got these options. And to be honest, the one that we have here actually does look like it fits the the brief because this color palette, the blue and the yellow actually looks kind of like premium. And when it comes into men who want status, which is the brief for our company, I think this is actually a very good starting point for where we are. So how about we go ahead and we upscale this to see a higher version of this one. So I'm going to go here. This is option number one, two, three, four. So I'm going to upscale image number two and see what comes up. Okay, so now that Midjourney has returned a high resolution image of this, this is going to be helpful for me for two things. Number one, there is a reference here for the layout. So navigation at the top with this kind of like crossed yellow area for the logo here, we can see where the headline needs to be and a call to action button and how this second section is going to be also with a yellow bar that fits the whole color scheme here. Um, so number one is a layout, great layout reference. Number two, the image here is going to be fantastic for a hero image. So let's start with taking copying the image and putting it in Figma just for the reference for the layout. But to actually clean this up so that we can use the actual image, let's go ahead and open up Photoshop and clean up the image a little bit. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to select this area here, and I'm going to do content aware fill just to clean this up a little bit. 
Now, it's probably not going to be perfect. Um, yeah, if, if I'm going to do this for an actual project, I'm probably going to be uh, spending a little bit time on this to make sure that this looks great. Content aware fill and whoop, delete that, delete these two little parts here on a new layer on this one, content aware fill. All right, so now that we have the image, we can go ahead and copy that. So I'm going to do copy merged layers, copy merged, and I'm going to go ahead and paste it inside of Figma. So I basically I have the hero section here. And actually, you know what I can one thing that's also worth doing in Photoshop, right, is increasing the resolution, right? So this is currently 10, uh, 1024 by 1024. But right now with the new Photoshop uh, upscaling, so we have filter neural gallery, and we can go ahead and actually increase the resolution of this image. So we can go here and do, you know, photo, not photo this super zoom, we can go here, turn this up. And then let's do two times the size, I'm going to hit Okay, actually, it's processing. So in a second, we'll have this uh, image in double the resolution. So to increase the resolution, I'm going to merge all the layers that we have here, and then going to lay filter neural filters, and I'm going to go into the super zoom that we have here, turn that on and zoom it twice the size, it's going to load and then we'll have the image in twice the resolution. Okay, so now we have the image at twice the resolution, it's 2048. And we can go ahead and copy that copy our hero image right into Figma. So I'm going to copy that head over to Figma and paste that here, you can see it's almost the right resolution, I'm going to scale it up here. Okay, so let's see what else we have here, we have the navigation, which obviously should be black. So I'm going to go ahead and create this black thing here. And let's talk about the logo. So here we have kind of like a mark for where a black logo should be. Let's try to generate this logo, or at least a reference for the logo with mid journey as well. So let's do what's the name of the company, the name of the company is checkpoint. Alright, so let's go here and write another prompt imagine imagine and do logo design for a jet ski company called checkpoint minimal minimal let's do modern and uh, yeah, let's see what that gives us. Okay, while that's loading, let's go ahead and try to figure out what should we have here for the hero uh, headline that we have here. So let's go to chat GPT and said, I need a few headline options, options for a hero section for a premium, premium jet ski, custom jet ski, custom jet ski company. All right. Let's see what gives us experience the thrill of custom jet skis, elevate your water adventures with premium jet skis, unleash your inner adventure with a custom jet ski, transform upgrade your ski game with custom designs. All right, let's go with unleash your inner adventures with custom jet skis. That sounds pretty good. So let's go here and put the headline right here in the middle. And we can go ahead and make this bold and make this bigger and quite like it's right here. So here it also showed us the type of font. So it's kind of like a sans serif font. It's bold, it's all uppercase. Let's try to mimic that here. Let's put this here in the center. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, make this font uppercase. So we can see here uppercase. Um, maybe make it a little bit bigger. Yep. Also put it a little here into the lower part so that it's more readable on the darker side of things. Unleash your inner adventure um, with custom jet skis. All right. Sounds good about here. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Actually, let's make this the background black. 
All right, so we have this. We know that we need probably a yellow button here. It's going to be this one with something like, let's center this, you know, let's do here uh, for this like, oh, sorry, like see all models or something like this or buy now. Um, let's turn this into 30, whoops, 30 and black. Okay, so now we have this button here, looks great. We also have this other section and we'll use Midjourney to create some more uh, images for different different uh, variations or models of the jet ski in a second. So this one looks like it's white, right? And then half of it is gonna be the image and also we're gonna have this kind of like a yellow thing here with the same color that we have here, which looks pretty good, pretty solid. Um, let's see if we have any news on the logo. All right, so we got a few logo options here for the checkpoint logo. Actually, I don't like I don't like any of them. I think I'd like something that is more kind of like a word word mark. So let's try to do something else. Uh, let's do imagine, and it's not really minimal what we're getting here, right? So I would do logo design, and then I would do word mark word mark. Let's see if I can also logo design word mark. Um, minimal. Let's see. What else can we say to make it even more minimal um, to do 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 to no icon? I don't know how that would work. Let's try to write no icon. Let's see what will happen. Let's try another prompt here. And in the meanwhile, we have our navigation. Now, what pages do we need on this website? I'm not sure. Let's ask chat GPT. What web? Uh, what pages? should we have on the navigation of a jet ski uh, jet ski company jet ski custom jet ski custom jet ski i guess it's an e-commerce commerce shop let's see what chat gpt tells us here are some pages that you might consider in your navigation home page of course that's what we need what else? Shop. This is a page where customers can browse. All right. About us page. Makes sense. Contact page. Makes sense. Anything else? FAQ page, perhaps. And then blog. If they have a blog, not sure we're going to go with a blog. But yeah, let's give these a try. So we have these. Let's turn this into something white. And uh, maybe we don't need this to be 30 here. We can turn this into 18. And uh, to do to do to why can we see it? Because these ones should be here inside, and this one should be here as well. So we have home, we have shop, as we said. What else? We have contact, contact, we have FAQ, and we have about us, about us. All right, let's put them all here. Let's rearrange them. That looks nice. And then we need this space for the logo here. And as we had in the reference, oh, where's my reference? I deleted my reference. So in my reference, it's kind of like stylized this way. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's take this and make it a little bit this way. All right. So now we have this looks pretty good. Okay, let's see what we got here in the logos. All right, so these are actually better. These, okay, so you see small change in the prompt gives you much better things. So this looks good. This also looks good. I actually like this better because this is too, I would say, cliche, show a jet ski for a jet ski company. This is a little bit more, um, I would say, abstract, and I like that. So let's go ahead and upscale this one is one, two, three. Let's upscale number three and see what comes up. In the meanwhile, I also want to generate these other options that we have here. Um, so what do we need? We need, let's say that this is the first section. What should the first section in this website 
be, right? So maybe it's an about us. So let's have ChatGPT write us the content here while Midjourney gives us this image. So here, let's do, imagine I want yellow jet ski photo. Let's do a photo, photo of a man riding, man bravely bravely remember they said in the brief that it's bravery bravely riding yellow jet ski let's do in sunset let's make this epic let's see what comes up here okay in the meanwhile uh write me an about section for the jet ski, for the jet ski company including including headline. All right. So welcome to company name, your premier destination for custom jet ski. At company name, we are passionate about water sports. Okay, I could have tell them that the company name is checkmark. But let's see, let's use this. So let's take this welcome to your premier destination for custom jet skis. Let's use the font that we have here. Let's turn it into black, probably something like 35 and align left and then welcome to this the company is called check mark check mark check checkpoint or check mark was it checkpoint or check mark checkpoint all right there's actually a company called checkpoint but never mind that welcome to checkpoint your premier destination for custom jet skis and then here we can make this just a regular font not um, now just like a sentence lowercase let's go ahead and take this and copy the paste the text here actually it can be much smaller so it can be something like 18 actually do uh, none of that all right so we can have that at check mark checkpoint checkpoint let's do this this so now we have actually i don't need the third paragraph i'm just going to go with two paragraphs and then let's see if we've got some images here that we can use in this second section here okay actually we got some really really cool photos here i don't know why this person looks like a ninja but Actually, let's do let's change this. It's actually too dramatic here, right? So I'm going to do imagine. Let's do not sunset. Let's do bright, bright day, bright day. Let's give this a try. This was actually too dramatic. But in the meanwhile, we've got the logo here. So I'm actually going to go ahead and try to copy that and turn this into a vector. So I'm going to copy that I'm going to dump right into Illustrator because Illustrator has this really cool feature where you can go ahead and you can trace the image. So I'm going to do that. And now we basically have this whoops, sorry, we can expand that we now have this as a, an actual vector shape. So now I can go ahead and clean this up a little bit we can go ahead and try to change that into black. Let's see if and these middle points that we have here, let's, let's see if we can, yeah, we need to uh, go ahead to our pathfinder and remove them or subtract them. So let me see if I can go ahead and subtract them. Okay, so we actually have that here and we have that here. And actually I'm looking at it right now this logo looks like there's too many details here, actually. So maybe I'll remove this one. And I'll remove the little dots here just so that we have like a little bit less things. Do we actually need this thing? Mm, yeah, this one kind of looks like a mask type thing. Let's put the, the word check mark next to it. Checkpoint actually check point and see how that looks like. So going back into mid journey, we have a, a little bit of a slanted font here. And it's a little bit technical, right? It's not completely sans serif font. 
Let's jump right here and look to see if we have a font that's a little bit similar to what we have here. Let me scroll through this fast through the fonts that I have installed. So the closest font that I have here is Dean Alternate Bold. And I think it might look okay, you know, for the two minutes that we've invested in this. So I can go ahead and copy all of this and bring that new vector logo right here into Figma. And let's see, nope, not this one, but actually this one. Let's see if I can copy and paste it. All right, we brought it here. We can make it a little bit smaller and yeah, it actually look not bad. So we have the logo positioned right here and all we have left is bringing in the image that we have here. I think the font here can be a little bit smaller as well. Yep. All right. So let's see the photos that we got with a bright day. Oh, that looks much better. So which one of these are we going to uh, in improve the quality of? I actually like this one the best. So let's go ahead and upscale image number four. All right, so here is the upscaled image. Looks pretty good, actually pretty realistic. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that, bring that here into Figma and scale that here. Actually crop it up a little bit, just a little bit here. And, and yeah, that's it. Okay, so this is what we came up with after about 25 minutes of playing around with these tools, MidJourney and ChatGPT. As you can see, these tools can help you think faster and come up with ideas. You're still have to going to experiment with writing prompts and being creative about what you're looking to get but these tools can help you think and execute so much faster and I'm really excited about where things are going with this. If you wanna learn more about new AI tools, make sure to check this video and I'll see you on the next one, peace out.